Yes? Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha chupa panki. Uh huh. <laughs> Yes? Ready. What? On it. It's open. Tadadumpa kapalia monapata bonanakachu. What what we you walking? I just clean those floors. Oh, I get it. You figure that just because I'm a janitor, you don't have to show me any respect. I'm beneath you, is that it? Well, all right then, no hard feelings. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Eh? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later. Is this really necessary? No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions, it's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, then. I've been going through the battle of the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. True. Bastila is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still... No. Maybe. 
Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone bastard his party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. And hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastion and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. It has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious, you know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Introduce myself. My name is Kevla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Inquiry. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargain here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> No! Help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but... Are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Ready? 
Life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Tavik, there's nothing else you can do. It's just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? Well, I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols, and they could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Ready. On it. It's open. What are you doing? Don't go in there! That door is for employees only! You recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless... Unless you're a friend of the Republic. I, uh... I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Psst. 
You there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rat Ghoul Serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rat Ghoul Serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Hm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Now be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Welcome back. Are you in need of... In a terrible effect prolonged. Goodbye. Ready? Sure. What? What? Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Towers. I am a critical droid program to provide information to everyone on Taras, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? Then if you will excuse me. The Sith wouldn't be so bad if they'd let us leave the planet. This quarantine is killing me. What is this planet coming to, huh? <laughs> Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Fellas, this let me ain't worth the bother. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. The evil walks among us. Hey, I'm no alien lover, but I don't want to see them all killed. This coot's way out of line.
ตงกีบานนตงเตกตุนนีชาชนคุนเนมูเลบราบัสคิงคุนชีกายคิชินอวานาวามาตานิชีลาจอร์กาคิงคุนปาลามุนารีจิชิงพาลานิสกามูเล
kaki chiki nai potoka na wana pota kakin cha na kwat na bon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tonki pa na nonek tu nik ton chu chun ke nemolek rabest uf mala ni bokurk ki puna na bon Tawamamuliri, kin kun chopeshwa, no bamule raji, jone yuturi yanchi, either bola unchi chinek, bahmuli, selima wanga kun bikin, china pala mule, tonki ba non tontek, tumni chachon kun ne mule rabast. Tangab Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Wanga kum kiba bu mule ra kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Tonk kiba nukunek. Tanga bok sha um nak nong. Mucha shakapaka. Ye ki kun no ba mula dra ki chichon. Rundi i chawa tong bola johnny ku. Hachu a punky, G. Tangabu Much The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before. Patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Move along then. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. Ready. On it. Damn! What? Ready. On it. It's open. What? Don't! Don't hurt my family! Look I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through there. You ain't supposed to be here! This ain't your home!
Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Teresian underground? Start talking. I want answers. The other two, he endured it out and ready boot and keep behind Orugio. And now for the Dufka. Gloria. You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Who said that? What's going on out there? Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. What was that? Did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach this civilian the penalty for defying the Sith.
What? On it. Sure. It's open. Please. Please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Dabix money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here. I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Dabic where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Here, take the credits. But please, just don't tell Dabic where I'm hiding. He'll kill me if he finds me. I know we might need credits, but there's got to be a better way to get them than this. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Because of the Sith quarantine, I haven't... Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Bodhivan, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Kazakh player on Taurus? <laughs> If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, 
I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. What? I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Girl on fire. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll! In this corner, I give you Gerlon Twofinger! And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! Nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Twofinger. Yes, what's on your mind? You